Good. Straight away, we'll get on to the next mantra. Is we first discuss about basic things what you can do in order to make a customer happy. Now we are getting into the next level called delight level. And we are going to discuss few mantras there, a five, and that is be focused, modify to feedback, responsibility collectively, accountable individually, excite with exceeded delivery and service serves us. Good. So let's start with this mantra here. Be focused for the purpose. All successful people I have found, one thing that was behind them was at all times, they were focused on what they were doing. They were focused. So, whenever you are doing something, identify your purpose well. Why is that I am doing this? You ask the question, why? And the moment you ask the question, why, automatically then you realize, when you have a valid answer, this is why I am doing it. So then, you will focus yourself towards that. And the best will always come out of it. Now, I am into service excellence training. Purposefully, I am into that, because this is my forte. And with this one single subject matter, I find it so difficult to update myself with the kind of changes that are taking place across the globe. So imagine if I had three, four, five, six, ten in my portfolio, nothing I would have done right. So even I am serving people. By training, I am serving people. I get people to understand their true potential and to see that they have a purpose, they have a focus, and then finally they maintain a balance and achieve greatness. And that's what I'm doing. So, dear friends, you got to be focused for the purpose. Identify what it is. What are our actions and their impacts on creating value to the customer? We are getting into a very important area. Right. Most often, what happens? We offer something to a customer. If you draw a diagram, it perhaps could be a circle. Whatever you are offering, you put it in. And if you can draw a diagram, it could be a circle. It takes the shape of a circle. But if you look at from the customer's point, so this is what exactly customer wants. It's in a circle. But maybe what the provider offers could be what? A square. This is what the customer wants. This is what the provider offers. Now, when you put them together, what will happen, obviously? Square peg is in a round hole. Can you see? Look at this theoretically. Does it solve what exactly the customer wants? Quickly, quickly, difference. We are about half an hour behind the schedule. No. Can you see? It's a waste of certain things. Provider is offering something which the customer is not going to value. Never mind, do that, provided you had fulfilled what exactly the customer is in need of. Now, can you see certain things goes out? You had just given this, and then certain things that shape the curve, customer had not got it. Can you expect a customer to develop a loyalty? Because his basic requirement had not been fulfilled and matched. How on earth do you expect a customer to develop a loyalty? So ideally, what you got to do is you got to take them and then see, understand what exactly customer is in need of and then provide it. Okay, now let's take the hotel industry. What is the check-in time? Check-in time to a hotel is what? After two. Check-out time? Twelve. You charge a customer for one full day rate and he's been offered only 22 hours. But you say one full day, he's 24 hours. Now, there itself, we have deceived the customer, if you look at it. Because customer never get the proper value. Now, many hotels are thinking about this 24 hours check-in, check-out procedures. And when they advertise in their magazines, or whatever it is, international magazines, they draw a clock. Uh, what does that mean? Clock means 24 hours check in, check out. Anytime at your convenience, you can check in. And anytime at your convenience, you can check out having spent 24 hours. 
Now, there is a little hotel in Bangalore, down Brigade Road, called Balale Rest. It's about a three-star hotel, or three or four, or in between. What do they say? They say, come at any time, from that time onwards, having checked in, you can wait for 24 hours. Thereafter, two hours, we'll give you complimentary. Can you see? Something more. Something more. So, look at it. Just try to change the model. Now, many a times they say on availability, we'll do that. But customer on availability, it's a post decision, post purchase decision. When you come and when you want, once you stay there, then you have to check and see whether it's available. And he's in doubt. But when you have a 24 hour assurance of check in, check out, based on that, you would accordingly plan. Now, whenever I select a hotel in Dubai, next week I have to go again. Now, what is the first thing that I took into consideration? Because based on my schedule, I must take the flight. And then, according to the way how the flight is going to land there, I must select the hotel. And often I go for 24 hours. Now, JW Marriott is one hotel. That 24 hours check-in, check-out facility is there. See, dear friends, how well these things can be done. Don't you have an offer and then say, customer to get adjusted towards that. No. See how well that you could adjust yourself to the customer. So ideally you have to do is, this has to be expanded and that's what proportion that it's been drawn. In this diagram it says, you expand it and see that you fulfill the customer's requirement in full. And if you can offer something extra, can you see? If you can offer something extra, that's it. And what is that little thing that you can offer? Extra. It should not cost the entity and it should not be a, a thing that, okay, you have to spend a lot of money, put effort, and then time. What is it that you can give? Extra. What is it? Please. Oh, thank you, sir. Service. 